Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Butler and welcome to the Center for Love and Light in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to talk about chakras and we're going to focus on the purple one, the crown chakra. It's located about two inches above your head in the center. Otherwise, you can probably take about three fingers, put it on the top of your head, and there, oop, there we go, and there it rests. Each chakra is about two inches in diameter, about the size of a golf ball. So that's the location of it right there. Now, each chakra in your body is related to an element, a sense, a sound, a note, a, a gland, and a character. So I want to take some time and kind of quickly go over all of that for you so that you have it. Now, the crown chakra is located to the element of thought. It's very etherical, isn't it? It's very kind of feminine in a way. Now, the sense that it's related to is all of them. It combines all experiences for the crown chakra energy. The note for the crown chakra, which is purple, is B. Let's give this sound to you right now. Let me hit it on my knee. Isn't that nice? And the sound to that note is OM. And I'm sure you've heard people chanting OM. So what this does is resonate with the crown chakra energy and it cleanses the energy and it balances it. The gland that it's associated to is the pineal and it produces melatonin the chakra helps control the cerebrum, the right brain hemisphere, the central nervous system, and the right eye. Now let's look at some characteristics of the crown chakra. It is a oneness of divine wisdom, infinite. It's a spiritual understanding and will. It is perfection integration or unity with the omnipresent being which is associated to whatever belief system that you have because that belief system is going to trigger the crown chakra located at the top of the head above the head now some of the dysfunctions of the crown chakra are mystical depression let's stop right there right because that's a strange word so mystical depression is kind of a separation from a belief system when you're yearning or wanting to feel comfortable in one some other things diseases of the skin muscular and skeletal system chronic exhaustion sensitivity to light sound and environment well speaking of environment you can actually pull on some of these things that are in your environment to help you cleanse and balance your energy. Now let's look at some that are associated just to the crown chakra's vibrations. We have some crystals, aromatherapy, some foods, and spoken word affirmations. Now when you think purple crystal, amethyst resonates right away. So we have amethyst, clear quartz, this is a gorgeous example, diamonds, girl's best friend. I don't know why we say that much anymore. <laughs> They're all quite beautiful. And purple jasper is another example. Some of the aromatherapies we have are lotus, rose, asp rose absolute, spruce, lavender. These are actually wonderful things to put in your laundry as well as your cleaning. And some of the foods, beet tops, blackberries, even though they're black, they're a deep, deep violet when you cut into them. Purple broccoli, eggplant, purple, purple grapes, I was going to say purple purples, purple grapes, and spoken word. Let's look at some affirmations. I am consciously living in my divine purpose. I am in unison with my mind, body, and spirit. I am one with all creation. And the verb that associates most to the crown chakra is, I know. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for choosing to learn. I'm Jamie Butler, and I hope to see you back here.